Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Rusty Wallace Kia on Callahan Drive. New vehicles or used vehicles, buying or leasing. I start my new vehicle search at Rusty Wallace Kia every single time. Four straight Sorrentos with zero problems, and now a Kia Telluride that I love. Go see Jake Bull, James Gordon, and the folks at Rusty Wallace Kia on Callahan Drive this week. Tell them I sent you. Uh, again, what does that tell you if I bought five straight cars from this dealership? It tells you I believe in them. And that was five straight cars from that dealership before they were ever a sponsor on this show. So they weren't cutting me any special deals uh, other than the ones they cut for everybody. Rusty Wallace Key on Callahan Drive. Good place to buy a car. Okay. Uh, very quick kind of a wrap-up segment, crystal ball stuff. Will Tennessee's football program ever get back to a point where it typically finishes in the national rankings every other year? And I've gone last all day. I'm going to go first here because for years I've said, yes, the traditional powers don't just drop off. For years and years and years, Minnesota was the only team that had won ma multiple national championships and then just fallen off the map. Everybody else had gone down, come back up. The Texases, the USC's, they go down, they come back up. With Tennessee and Nebraska now, I'm starting to have my doubts that maybe the college football landscape has changed in such a way that big time programs do fall off. But I'm still gonna say they'll get back because you only have to find one guy. You find the one guy, I mean, when, when LSU went and hired Nick Saban, pretty good coach at Michigan State, nobody would have thought he was going to be the king of college football that he's become. Could have been Tennessee that hired this guy from Michigan State. And fans would have said, he went eight and four. You know, so I think they will get back because all you had to do is find one. And their luck has been so bad, they're due to find one. So that's my take. Will they ever get back to where they're ranked every other year on average? Oh, wow. Yes. But I think we're still at least a coach away from it. But yes. Okay, so you're already hanging Josh Heupel out to dry. <laughs> he doesn't he, get past the That's right, four years. Four, so, four years. Four years. Four years. So, Josh Ward, did it, they ever get it back? It's incredible that this question creates pause. Uh, but understandably so. But I'll say yes. I, I still believe that it, it, you are one coach away or a, a couple of retiring coaches away at from other school, yeah. maybe having a better chance. Yes. So I will say yes. Okay. Yes, I think so. Uh, it might not be right away, but I think it will happen again. I, we, we have to change what we look at Tennessee as, I think. It is a mid-level SEC program right now, which means you have the chance to be this type of program that's ranked every other year. But I think we have to look at it like that historical view showed as a program that is good only when it has the right coach. It is a solid program when it doesn't have the right coach. It is only a good program, a top-level program, when you hire a dynamic, difference-making coach, kind of like the basketball program has been really, too. Yeah. Um, I think the football program is kind of in the same boat, especially in the modern SEC. So they'll get back there. I just don't know how quickly it will be. See, I don't think you're a mid-level SEC program right now. I think you're in the bottom third well, of the league. Well, at the moment, but I, when you say sure. overall, over based on what they can recruit and, and the facility their reach and everything, yeah, I, right I, there. I mean, I want to see it. I mean, it, it just, I, I mean, I think if you take Josh Dobbs away from Butch Jones, he's not as good as he was. But you can, through it to get his good recruits had to cheat. So to the me, the Josh Dobbs thing, you, you could also take Tim Tebow away from Urban Meyer and what are they, you know. But we sure, but I, I still think that would be a Chris Lee, pretty decent football team with, without Tim but we, Tebow. So but, I, but, I, but here's the thing, Florida. I, see, I think Florida's a mid-level SEC football team. They they hire bad coaches and it goes. In but the see, and I think they're ahead of Tennessee, so it yeah. makes Tennessee below a mid. -level. At the moment, I agree with you. I think yeah. if I'm looking big picture, though, if, if I'm projecting over the next quarter century. I put Tennessee with Auburn, mm -hmm. with Texas A&M. Texas A&M should be better than they have been. Their facilities and their money, they should be better than they have been. I think Alabama is just rolling. I think LSU has now – Nick Saban went in there and popped the cork on that place, and now imbeciles like Les Miles and Ed Orgeron can go down there and win national championships. Mm -hmm. I think I could win a national championship at LSU if you let me cheat and yeah. you know, do whatever Ed Orgeron does. <laughs> Uh, Georgia has that great recruiting advantage. Mm -hmm. I think Tennessee, at, at, when it's on high, is as good as anybody but those two or three in terms Dur of what it can be. During a bad Perfect. decade, we've seen three straight coaching staffs be able to go to Georgia, go everywhere else, and get second-tier, good, quality players. You can do that consistently because Tennessee has a lot of good things still going for it. Josh? I think, I think Tennessee right now is mid-level, but as a team, where, just where the state of things are right now, in the, yeah. in the moment, it, it looks worse than what it is or should be for mm -hmm. the program. Yeah, I so, don't think you're going to continue uh, to be below Kentucky. Right. Right. 
I hope not. <laughs> I don't, but, think, but, I don't think you're going to lose to Kentucky 34 to 7 every year moving forward. But that is part of what That's, they need to change because Kentucky, Missouri, and South Carolina, they're not scared of Tennessee. Tennessee correct. needs to change that. If that keeps happening with Kentucky, we'll have this show again in four or five years. Yeah. We'll be talking well, about four the same years, thing. according yeah. to Bob. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Thanks to all these guys. Thanks for you for watching. We'll see you right back here next Sunday, live on the Sports Source. Uh, get out and see our sponsors this week. They appreciate you. I appreciate you. See you next Sunday. Have a good week.